And folks, as we get ready to get underway here, as you see Montgomery whips it down to second base and we are gonna get going here. Zeke Dubois stands in for the Virgins Commodores. He'll face Rooney for the Wildcats. See Rooney taking a couple deep breaths before he steps on the mound. He'll be towing the slab today. Folks, the, the slab, that's another mound for the mound, the rubber, the bump, anything you want to call it. Rooney digs in there, trying to dig himself a hole there on the mound, get some grip. First pitch on the way. And just missed for a ball. Good pitch by Rooney. Rooney now. He'll come set. He'll kick and deliver. Whoa, for a ball, 2-0 now to Dubois. Rooney's gonna get his sign from Montgomery. He'll kick and deliver. Inside for a ball, 3-0 from Rooney. A couple of close pitches here by Rooney. That one not so much, a little inside there. Rooney kicks and delivers. Outside for a ball and a four pitch walk, uncharacteristic of Lyle Rooney to start the game for the Lyle thing. Now standing in is Tyler Kimball, the pitcher for the Virgens Commodores. Pretty long trip for Virgens down here today. First strike of the game there by Rooney, nice pitch. 0-1 the count now to Kimball. Rooney kicks and delivers. Kimball tries to lay down a bunt, that goes foul. So an 0-2 count now. No balls, two strikes to Kimball. Runner on the move, throw by Montgomery a little high. And Dubois is gonna steal that one down there at second base. So a one and two count now to Kimball at the plate. Rooney trying to settle down a little bit here on the mound. Rooney kicks and delivers. That's in there, strike three. So the first pair of shoes today for Lyle Rooney, folks. That's what we call a looking strikeout around here. Now standing in for the Commodores is the catcher, Elijah, Elijah Dupree. Folks, if, uh, I mean, you guys didn't really see it in warm-ups, but Elijah Dupree has an absolute cannon of an arm behind the plate for the Virgins Commodores. And rumor around town is the Texas Rangers were looking at him. So maybe a force to be reckoned with behind the plate. Good pitch there by Rooney, first pitch strike to Dupree. Rooney takes a long look, he'll kick and deliver. That's in there for a strike. No balls and two strikes now to Dupree. He thought they were a little bit low, but both called strikes there by the home plate umpire. And that's smoked out to right field, scores that on the run. And that's gonna drop. Baker struggles with it out there into the cutoff man, Revard. So the runner's gonna hold at third base. Folks, I'm not sure how to score that one. A base hitter in E9, I think that's a base hit though, folks. Scorestad dove just a little too early for it out there in right field. Looked like he had a pretty good beat on it, so that's gonna be a base hit. So runners on the corners with only one down now. Rooney in a bit of a jam, trying to work his way out of it. He's pitching from the stretch now, folks, with runners at first. That's in there for a strike. That one had a little extra velocity behind it there. Now, Eon Pembrel stands in. Rooney winds and fires. Montgomery, another throw down to second base. Snap throw back to third. Ooh, late tag by Menard, and he's safe. So now two runners in scoring position for Tembrel, the hitter. Rooney back on the rubber. Rooney, he'll kick and fire. Low for a ball, dug out there by Montgomery. Nice stop behind home plate. 
We say it all the time, folks. Montgomery, an excellent defensive catcher for these Wildcats. That's hit hard on the ground. Revard scoops it up. He's going to whip it home. Whoa! Bad throw. Montgomery on his horse. He's going to flip it to Rudy, and he's safe. So are the Wildcats. Whew. Throwing the ball all around the diamond right now, and Virgen's up 2 0 early. That's going to be an E6 on Tyler Revard, a throwing error coming home. Rooney did a good job to hustle home, and Montgomery tried to look for it behind home plate, and a runner's going to score. So I think, you know, the Wildcats are going to take a mound visit here and try and settle down Rooney a little bit. So a quick 2 0 lead for the Virgen's Commodores, and you can't. Folks, I'll say it. I'll say it now and I'll say it a hundred times. In the playoffs, records do not matter. Seating does not matter. So, the Virgen's Commodores jumping on the Wildcats early. Standing in now is Gabe Scribner, the right fielder, swing and a miss. Good pitch there by Rooney. Rooney now trying to settle back in. If I was Revard there, folks, I think I would have scooped it up and tried to go on to first base, but I don't blame him for trying to get the force out at home to prevent a run, but it wound up being an error. That's a uh, second pitch as a strike there by Rooney, so 0-2 now to Scribner. Scribner calls time at the plate. Rooney now from the rubber, he'll kick and deliver. Swing and a miss. Strike three, so both outs for the Wildcats have been two strikeouts by Lyle Rooney. Folks, a lot of alumni in attendance today too. Both past, present, and well future, I guess. Now standing in is Nate Muzzy, the DH. Nice pitch there by Rooney, right on the corner for a strike. Nice frame there by Montgomery. Rooney winds and fires. Foul, back to the fence. Folks, a lot of notable athlete alumni in attendance here. Zoe Hislop, Joey uh, Hall, Freddie Larson, Elliot Kimball. I think I saw Olivia Davis in here. So a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of notable athletes from the last few years in attendance here. Rooney back on the rubber, he'll kick and fire. In there, strike three, so a third strikeout for Rooney, a second pair of shoes, and we head to the bottom of the first, folks. Two nothing lead for the Commodores. We'll be right back. Hazen Union Wildcats is the butcher, the baker, the hit maker, Jaden Baker that is. And doing the pitching for the Commodores, that'll be Tyler Kimball and Dupree doing the catching for him. Dupree has a cannon of an arm, saw that in warmups. Kimball, you know, something you don't see a lot of around here, folks. You see a southpaw on the mound for the Commodores. Baker stands in. Kimball now. He'll kick and deliver. In there for a strike. Nice pitch there by Tyler Kimball. Kimball now. Has kind of a long windup. He'll kick and deliver. And Jaden Baker getting the Wildcat bats going early. A sharp single up the middle for a base knock. Now standing in T Rex, Tyler Rebarn. Shortstop for the Cats. Kimball now is going to throw one back to first base. Baker back safely. Kimball now, he's going to take a long look home. So he's going to pitch from the stretch with a runner at first. Kick and deliver. High for a ball, 1-0 count now to Revard. Two. 
See Howard drops down a sign for his runner Baker at first, who is fast. We'll see if he's in motion. And Revard fouls that one back, twisting up the hill. And that'll land on the hill over there. So a one and one count now to Revard from Kimball. Kimball back on the rubber now. Again, he, he kind of takes that long look home like Craig Kimbrell. He'll kick and deliver. That's high, throw down to second base. Oh, Baker dives in safe, just avoided the tag. Oh man, that was a good throw down to second base. That was close, but a little swim move down there by Jaden Baker, moving the arm around the tag and getting in there. Looking like Dustin Pedroia down there, he used to do that a lot. He's good at avoiding the tag when he had to steal a base. So now a two ball and one strike count for Revard. Kimball kicks and delivers. And Revard shoots it to third base. Baker in a pickle. Revard dives back into first. He's safe. Jaden Baker, ooh, a little. Jaden Baker, I didn't, I think wasn't sure whether to go to third there or try and go, uh, try and stay at second. I think he was trying to wait to see if they were gonna throw, uh, throw to first and then scurry down to third base, but didn't work out. So now James Montgomery is gonna stand in with one out, a costly out there for the Wildcats as they would have had a runner in scoring position at second base still. Now Revard will be at first base. He reached on the fielder's choice. Snap throw back to first. Revard dives in safe. So Kimball now back on the mound. Has yet to throw a pitch to Montgomery. Kimball kicks and delivers. Revard on the run. Revard thrown out down at second base. Dupree, as I said, folks, has an absolute cannon behind the plate, so the Wildcats might not be able to run as much as they would like to today. And folks, from what I've been told, the Dupree, the catcher for the Virgins Commodores, had the Texas Rangers scout again, so it doesn't shock me that he's able to throw out base stealers like it's nobody's business, because if you're a major league catcher, you know, you gotta, you gotta be able to do that. I want to make it as a pro catcher, I should say. Kimball winds and fires. High for a ball, 2-0 oh now to Montgomery. So both Hayes and Wildcat base runners have been evaporated just like that. Commodore's coming out and playing some smart baseball. Ooh, Montgomery swung for the Judevine Library there. Fouled it back into the mitt. Two balls and a strike now to Montgomery. Kimball now, he'll kick and deliver. High for a ball, three and one to Montgomery. Kimball now back on the rubber. He'll kick and deliver. Montgomery fouls that one back to the fence. So count runs full, Montgomery's got to protect here, anything close. Kimball now from the rubber. He'll wind and fire. Montgomery swings and misses. So the Wildcats showed some signs of life and quickly get set down. We'll be right back here in the top of the second. A 2 0 lead for the Commodores. Folks, I'll take a quick second here to read our sponsors. We're back here at the Dan Hudson Baseball Diamond. Take a second here to read our sponsors. Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics. 
and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsc.org. Jumpstart your future. Rooney stands in now. He'll face Kimball on the mound. As you see, oh, as you see, Coach Opie Ups in there calling for the balloon out in center field. Put a pause on that pitch real quick. So the delivery was on the way. I was going to say I didn't see a balk or nothing, folks. So Kimball winds and fires outside for a ball, one and zero. Now to Rooney. Kimball kicks and delivers. Rooney is going to foul that one over towards the Dan Hudson soccer field. Rooney would like to straighten that one out and maybe flick it down the right field line, and that's easily two bases with his speed. So a 1 1 count now. Kimball now from the windup, he'll kick and deliver. Rooney hits it in play right in front of home plate. Catcher wasn't sure. Rooney down to first base. Oh, they're going to call it a foul ball. Hit the plate, folks. Though I was going to say, if not, that was a nice base, a nice infield single there for Lyle Rooney. But foul ball, so a ball and two strikes. Menard on deck. Kimball kicks and delivers. High for a ball, two and two. Good eye there by Rooney at the plate. Oof, Rooney hit that one hard, foul off the screen. So Rooney doing a nice job to protect at the plate, making Kimbo work a little bit on the mound. Kimball Hill kick and deliver. High for a ball, count runs full. Nice eye there by Rooney. Kimball kicks and delivers. Rooney shoots a foul ball down there towards the Virgins fans. That was a rocket off the bat of Lyle Rooney. Rooney again doing a good job to protect at the plate. Kimball now, he'll kick and deliver. And Rooney again fouls it off. Doing a nice job to make Kimball throw some pitches here, making him work on the mound. Kimball now. He'll kick and deliver. And Rooney puts it in play, single into left field. Nice base hit there by Lyle Rooney. He made Kimball throw him a lot of pitches and he finally got one he liked and flipped it into left field for a base hit. Now folks, as Lance Hall calls him, Andrew the Mahler Menard standing in. Number six batter for the Wildcats. Kimball now from the stretch. Ooh, snap throw to first base. Rooney dives back safe. Kimball now from the stretch. He'll kick and fire. High for a ball. Nice eye there by Menard. One zero count now. Kimball comes set. He'll kick and throw over to first base. Rooney dives back safe. You see, folks, as it is a playoff game, three umpires instead of two. I think there should be three all the time, anyways. But I digress. Ooh, Menard, big cut at that one. He swung for Calderwood Insurance. One ball, one strike now to Menard. Kimball back on the rubber. 
he comes set. He'll kick and fire. High for a ball, two and one now to Menard. Kimball now comes set. Step and throw over to first base. Rooney again dives in safe. Kimball now kicks and fires. High for a ball, three and one count now to Andrew Menard. So he's gonna try and draw a walk here and get on base. Kimball kicks and fires. And Menard shoots one out to center field. There's center fielder coming on. And he'll put it away. So Rooney's going to scoot back to first base. Good contact there by Menard. Would have liked to try and put it a little bit more right, put it in the gap out there. But good contact nonetheless by Menard. Now Jacob Davison, the first baseman, is going to stand in with one out. He's got Rooney at first. Rooney slides into second base safe. Ball rolls into center field. Rooney's still going. Howard going to hold him up at third base. Nice heads up base run in there by Lyle Rooney, folks. Slid into second base. The throw was a little wayward, and it got into center field, and Rooney scurried down another 90 feet to third base. So now first pitch to Davison, it was a ball inside. So Davison now, like I said folks, he's old school, he wears no batting gloves. Boy, that's got a sting. And Davison shoots it foul over behind first base. One one count now. To Jake Davison. So Kimball now, he'll take a look home. He'll come set. He'll kick and fire. Davison will watch it outside for a ball. Two balls and a strike. Kimball now, he'll come set. He kicks and fires. Davison ropes one down the left field line. Just foul. Oh man, folks. If that wind wasn't blowing, folks, that ball might have stayed fair. Just hooked it a little bit by Jake Davison. Nice contact there. Now, two and two count. Davison's got to protect here, anything close. Kimball will walk back on the mound. Davison will leave it up. That's a great eye by Davison at the plate, and the count runs full. So again, Davison's got to protect anything close here at the plate, folks. Kimball now, he's going to take a look down to third. Now he'll come set. He'll kick and fire. High ball four, and Davison does a good job there to battle back and draw a walk. And folks, now Dano, Dan DeGroslier stands in. Or DeGroslieres, I believe, my mom says. She always gets mad at me, folks. I always say his last name wrong. That's why Dan, uh, Lance and I just call him Dano. Kimball now, he'll kick and fire. DeGroslier pulls back a bunt. Rooney's gonna scurry back to third base. You see the Hayes and Wildcats were trying to lay down a suicide squeeze right there, folks. That's what it's called. When the runner lays down a bunt and the guy from third steals home. Yeah. 
Now Kimball back on the mound. Dano at the plate. Kimball kicks and fires. He went. Dano went, so a ball and a strike there. I was going to say, I don't think he was able to hold up the check swing there. Big crowd here today, folks, as there always is at Hazen, all Hazen sporting events. Kimball wins and fires. The goes there as pops it up. That's going to twist out of play. So one ball, two strikes now to the Grosliers. Kimball now back on the rubber. And you see Dano, folks, doesn't use batting gloves either. And the Grosliers watches one on the corner for a strike. That was a good pitch by Kimball there, right on the corner and rung him up. Air shoes there for Kimball on the mound. Now Owen Skorstad stands in, the right fielder for the Wildcats. Skorstad, that'll scoot foul. Rooney just champing at the bit to get home over there at third base and I don't blame him. But Owen Skorstad will stand back in now. No balls, one strike, two outs. Kimball kicks and fires. Skorstad, another one, and he shoots it just foul right in front of the plate. Now no balls and two strikes. Skorstad's got to protect here. See, Spencer Howard tells him, let's have some fun here. Score steady, puts one in play. Uh, third baseman charged, made a nice play. So folks, after two, it's a two nothing lead still for the Virgins Commodores. We will be right back. <laughs> folks, we're back here at the Dan Hudson Baseball Diamond. Top of the third inning, I'll take a second and read our sponsors here real quick. Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Jumpstart your future. Rooney kicks and fires. Oh, that'll get past Montgomery. That'll be a wild pitch at the plate uh, on the mound. Now Zeke Du Bois stands in for the Virgins Commodores. Du Bois, he'll pop that one high, twisting over behind first base and it'll drop. So one, one count now. Rooney now, he'll come set, he'll kick and fire. Ooh, whoa, bounced in front of home plate and behind Montgomery again. Rooney back on the rubber, he'll kick and deliver. That's a nice pitch for a strike there. Two balls and two strikes now to Dubois. Rooney in there, strike three, nice pitch. Lyle Rooney picks up strikeout number six on the day. Now Tyler Kimball, the pitcher, is going to stand in for the Commodores with one out. Whoa, nice, uh, nice stop there by Montgomery. Picked it out behind home plate. Rooney now, he'll come set, he'll kick and fire. Swing and a miss, nice pitch by Rooney. 
or as we call him here at HCTV, the Lyle thing. Lance Hall came up with that one, folks. Rooney kicks and fires, swing and a miss, nice pitch. Rooney's got some velocity now after that first inning, he's pumped up. Oh, nice block there by Montgomery behind home plate. Rooney kicks and fires. Oof, that looked real good. That looked real good, folks. Just missed on the outside corner. Looked like a strike to me at least, but the umpire was standing right there, I guess. There it is. Rooney just had to move it a little bit more the other way, and he got it. Rooney, strikeout number seven on the day. As now Dupree stands in. Elijah Dupree. The catcher for the Commodores. Rooney comes set. He'll kick and fire. Dupree hits one hard down to first base. Davison scoops it up, steps on the bag, and a 1-2-3 inning for the Wildcats, folks. We'll be right back in the bottom half of the third. And folks, welcome back here at the Dan Hudson Baseball Diamond. Brendan Moody, or little Brendan Moody as we call him, stands in for the Hayes and Union Wildcats. Those of you that don't know, Brendan Moody's dad was a legend, or is a legend at Thunder Road, the all-time wins leader in the Flying Tiger division, and has done very well as a late model driver. But Moody stands in, he's the second baseman. He'll face Kimball, who remains on the mound for the Commodores. Kimball now, he'll kick and fire. In there for a strike, all right. I don't blame Moody there, wanted to see one. And Moody shoots one. Oh, that might be a gapper. Oh, they get to it quick. Moody takes a big turn at first base and he's gonna scoot back. So, a sharp single to start the inning here for the Hazen Wildcats. Moody, he hit that one hard. That one was hit right on the screws, folks. He got every stitch of that one. I should say insert metaphor here. You could use any of them. Now, hopefully, the butcher, the baker, the hit maker, the home run maker, whatever you want to use, Jaden Baker stands in. Kimball now, he'll come set. Snap throw to first, Moody dives in safe. Now Kimball again pitching from the stretch. He'll kick and fire. Oof. Baker tried to lay down a bunt. Kimball now, he comes set. He'll kick and deliver. And Baker, he shoots it up the middle. Moody, oh Moody, oh they drop it out there. Spencer Howard waving Moody around. He's calling Baker to third base. He's gonna put the stop sign on Jaden Baker. Brendan Moody's gonna come in. So, out there, a little, little bit misplayed out there in center field by the Commodores, but the Cats will get a run. Brendan Moody scoring from first base there, turned on the Jets. That's gonna be an RBI. The Butcher, the Baker, the RBI maker, Jaden Baker. Now Tyler Revard trying to drive in the tie and run. T-Rex stands in, the shortstop. Kimball now, he'll kick and fire. And Revard shoots it a mile high down the right field line. Baker back, he's gonna tag. Baker's gonna scoot home, so that'll be a sack fly and an RBI for Tyler Revard, and we're all knotted up at two, folks. You know, folks, it don't matter how you get them, a run's a run. 
A sack fly will do. So now James Montgomery trying to hopefully get the hit parade going again for the Hayes and Wildcats. The catcher he'll stand in with only one out. Kimball now, he'll wind and fire. Ooh, Montgomery took a big cut at that one. Did you see Spencer Howard and uh, some words of confidence there for James Montgomery. Oof, Montgomery swinging it like a golf club on that one. So Montgomery trying to shorten up here and make contact. No balls and two strikes. Kimball is going to kick and deliver. Montgomery, he's going to foul that one back into the willow tree. Let me tell you, folks, that tree back there gets hit a lot, and it knocks down the balls all the time. They get fouled back there. Protects a lot of cars over there. Kimball now. He will wind and fire. Montgomery, he hits one. That's, again, a mile high down the left field line. Left fielder coming on, he puts it away. Nice contact there by Montgomery. Just got under it a little bit too much and popped it up. I think he was hoping to hit that one more on a line. And now the Lyle thing, Lyle Rooney stands in. Kimball now, he's gonna wind and deliver. Rooney, who had a great at bat his last time up and you know battled at the plate and found a single. Rooney first pitch swinging there. He'll foul it off with two outs. Kimball's gonna kick and fire. And Rooney shoots it into center field. A base hit for Lyle Rooney. He's gonna keep the hit train going for the Wildcats. Rooney fired up getting down there to first base. Andrew Menard stands in now, the Mahler. Kimball now back from the stretch with a runner on first base. Long snap throw to first base. Safe is Rooney as he dives back in. Rooney with a big lead at first base. And Menard, he shoots one into center field. Rooney now, he'll move up 90 feet to second base. Nice sharp, sharp hit ball there by Andrew Menard. Hit that one on the screws. And now Jacob Davison stands in, the first baseman for the Hazen Union Wildcats. Kimball now still pitching from the stretch. Oh, and Rooney just gets the hand in there at second base. Well, folks, I think everybody in the town of Hardwick knew that throw was going back to second base with the way the second baseman was calling for it. And he wants it again. And another one Rooney in there safely. So not a pitch has been thrown to Jake Davison yet. They're too busy worried about Lyle Rooney at second base who continues to dive in safe every time. I think Rooney doing it to kind of get in the pitcher's head a little bit, and he has, as it's been three straight pickoff attempts. Now the first pitch. Whew. Roped over there, right over the bench, uh, the Hazen bench, and into the closet. Tyler. 
Now Kimball comes set. Kimball winds and fires. Davison, he'll foul one off again. Well, that's gonna bounce into the parking lot over there. So no balls and two strikes. Davison's gotta protect here, anything close. Low for a ball. Nice block there behind home plate. Kimball's gonna stay, or er, Rooney's gonna stay put. I think uh, Davison called time there at the plate. And the umpire didn't give it to him in time. So that's going to be an umpire error there. So a ball and two strikes now to Davison. Kimball kicks and fires. Davison again protects at the plate. He's going to shoot it foul. So now Kimball back on the rubber. He'll kick and fire. Ooh, Davison, he fouls it at the plate, got a piece of it. Davison doing a nice job to protect here at the plate. Kimball now, he'll kick and fire. And Davison, he fouls that one back behind home plate. Again, Davison doing a nice job to spoil that one and protect. A ball and two strikes to Davison. And now, Kimball comes set. Kimball's gonna kick and fire. And Davison shoots it. Long throw for the shortstop to make. And Davison safe at first base. So the bases are drunk with Wildcats now, folks. Nice hustle there by Davison digging down the first base line. Folks, I think that might be an E6, though, on the wayward throw to the first baseman. So that will unfortunately take a hit away from Jacob Davison. Although I'm no scorer, so. We'll see, but I would mark that as an E6. That wasn't a very good throw. It was a hard hit ball too, the shortstop. I mean, he had to go deep in the hole to make a play there. But I still think that would be an E6 as the first baseman had to come off the base. As Dan O'Dan de Groslier stands in. And he rips one foul over behind first. So bases are juiced. As you see, DeGroslier is there, tried to tomahawk chop that one. Kimball winds and fires. Ooh, swing and a miss. Big cut there by Dano. Now Kimball, he comes set. He's gonna kick and deliver. Ooh, and a big swing and miss there by Dano. So, the Wildcats leave them loaded, but a 2-2 game after three, folks. We will be right back at the top of the fourth. Folks, we're back here at the Dan Hudson Baseball Diamond. I'll take a minute here and read our sponsors real quick. I should know them by heart now, but I don't. Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsc.org. Jumpstart your future. First pitch from Rooney there was a ball. See who's standing in now. Take some cuts for the Commodores. That is Eon Tembril. Hit hard, oh wow, that was smoked. Tembro crushed that one up the middle for a base hit. 
And now Gabe Scribner stands in. That was a rocket, folks, up the middle. That one, that one had hit you. It would have left a two-foot hole coming out. So Scribner stands in. Rooney, quick throw to first base. Just in there is Tembrel. Oh, and that'll get by Montgomery behind the plate, and he's just going to eat that one. So one ball and no strikes now to Scribner. Scribner out to center field. Baker calls it. He'll put it away, no problem. Can of corn out there in center field, folks, for Jaden Baker. Boy, he makes it look so easy. He looks like a true Mike Trout out there in center field. So now Nate Muzzy stands in. Low for a ball. That was a good pitch. That was a really nice pitch. Just low. There to Muzzy. Swing and a miss. Nice pitch by Rooney. Two balls and a strike. Now to Nate Muzzy. Oh, folks, I'm not sure where that one missed. That was a great curveball. <laughs> the good old Uncle Charlie there by Lyle Rooney, but couldn't drop it in. I guess, I thought it looked good. Sw oh, swing and a miss. Kind of a half swing there by Muzzy. The count runs full now, three and two. Rooney wants to come up with something nasty here. And a look at strike, so that'll be Rooney's eighth of the ball game, folks, as Muzzy goes down looking. That'll be a backwards K on the scorebook. Standing in now is Parker Kehart. Kehart, sorry. Parker Keyhart. And that's hit up the middle. Oh, just off the glove of the dive of Rebard. Now they got the runner in a pickle. But the run. But the run counts, folks, as it came before the third out, I believe. So it's now a 3-2 lead for Virgens. Folks, we'll be right back in the bottom half of the fourth. <laughs> folks, here we are back at the Dan Hudson Baseball Diamond. Revard making his way into the batter's box. Folks, I'll take a second, give our sponsors one more read here, folks. Read them enough today, I think, but I'll give them one more read. Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsc.org. Jumpstart your future. So, folks, Revard stands in now. T-Rex, he's going to face Kimball. Kimball now, he's going to wind and fire. And Revard shoots that one foul. Revard wants to straighten that one out a little bit. Now Kimball, he comes set. He's gonna wind and deliver. And Revard shoots that one out of play. 
right on top of the batting cage over there. So Rivard down 0 and 2. He's got to protect here anything close. Kimball kicks and fires. Oh, for a ball, nice eye there by Rivard to watch that one at the plate. Kimball now, he's gonna kick and fire. And Rivard pops that one out of play over behind home plate. So Rivard doing a good job there to protect. He's got two down, one ball and two strikes. Kimball kicks and fires. High for a ball. That one was at Rivard's head. He could have sewn the stitches on that one. Two and two count now to Rivard. Worked it back even, but still got to protect. Outside for a ball, three and two now. Count runs full to Rivard. Kimball on the mound. He's pitched a pretty good game for the Commodores, folks. Kimball's gonna kick and fire. And Rivard again doing a nice job to protect and foul it off. So count remains full. Kimball now, he winds and fires. And Rivard smokes one out to center field. Center fielder has a nice beat on it though. That's gonna get down. Rivard digging around the bases. Howard's gonna hold him up. Rivard headlong dive into third base and he's safe. So Rivard after a gritty battle at the plate doing a nice job to protect, got one to hit and folks. And folks, if the wind had been blowing out a little bit more, I think Rebard could have got that one in the trees and he wouldn't have had to do all that running. Would have just been a home run for him. If he'd gotten the trees on the fly. Just missed it though. But that's a ball that Rebard hit every stitch of, folks. I will tell you that. Now James Montgomery stands in. The wind picking up again here, folks. Kimball kicks and fires. Oh, just missed for a ball, looked good. It's a nice pitch by Kimball. Now Montgomery stands in with a 1-0 count. Kimball pitching from the stretch. He's gonna kick and deliver. And Montgomery, he's gonna fly one deep out to center field. See if this is deep enough to bring in Rivard. And Rivard's gonna tag and go. And Rivard's gonna score the tying run. So Rivard's gonna score the tying run to make it a 3-3 ball game here. A sack fly and an RBI there for James Montgomery. You'll take him any way you can get him, folks. 3-3 game here, one out, bottom of the fifth. Low for a ball, nice eye there by Rooney. Kimball now, pitching from the stretch again with no runners on, he'll wind and fire. Or pitching from the windup with no runners on base. He pitched from the stretch with runners on base. 2-0 count now. Kimball winds and fires. And Rooney shoots one up the middle. That'll find some outfield grass for a base knock. Rooney, folks, is three for three today, I believe, at the plate. He's hit the ball hard and hit the ball well. So pitching coach coming out now. Gonna have a conference with his pitcher. 
see if they make a pitching change, folks. I would be surprised. He's throwing the ball pretty well. Now Spencer Howard's gonna come down and have a talk with the mauler, Andrew Menard, while the mound visit takes place. Now pitching from the stretch again is Kimball. He's gonna throw over to first. Rooney dives back safe again. Has every time so far. High for ball. 1-0 now to Menard. Kimball steps and throws over to first. Rooney back in safe. Kimball, you see the Hazen bench getting going now. Kimball's kicks and fires. Menard shoots a pop-up twist and over towards second base. He's gonna call it and put it away. So two down now in the top of the uh, bottom of the fifth. Jacob Davison stands in now. Kimball now comes set. He'll kick and deliver. Ooh, Davison took a nice cut at that one. there by Kimball, high for a ball. One and one the count now. <laughs> Davison took a nice cut at that one again and he swings and misses. So a ball and two strikes here. Davison gonna try and shorten up, he's gotta protect now. Davison goes down swinging as the, Horn uh, the Wildcats tried to put some runs on there. So after five, folks, it's a 3-3 ball game. We'll be right back in the top of the sixth. Folks, back here at the Dan Hudson Baseball Diamond. Elijah Dupree stands in. The catcher for the Virgins Commodores. Rooney's gonna remain on the bump. Rooney kicks and fires. Ooh, just low for a ball. Rooney kicks and fires. That's chopped down to third base. Menard scoops it. On to first and gets a nice play down there at third base by Andrew Menard. Just missed there as uh, Eon Tembrel stands in. Yes, Eon Tembrel stands in for the Commodores. A ball and no strikes to him. Rooney's gonna kick and fire. That's it on the ground to third. Ooh, Rivard almost eats him up, sticks with it, makes the play. You see, folks, again, that's why you stick with the play and never give up on it. Rebar does a good job there. The grounder ate him up a little bit, but he stuck with it and threw him out. Hey, 
Folks, that just goes to show you the improvement of Tyler Rivard in a couple, you know, even in the past couple seasons. A couple years ago, a ground, up, ground ball would have ate him up and then he would have overthrew the first baseman. But he settles in there and he makes a nice throw. So it goes to show you, you just got to relax if you make an error or if it eats you up. First pitch strike there from Rooney. As Gabe Scribner stands in for the Virgins Commodores. And that's hit to second base. Moody's going to play it on a hop. Oh, whips it to first base. Well, down go the Commodores, one, two, three, and the Wildcats are gonna hope to get the bats going again. Folks, we'll be back here in the bottom of the sixth. Go, boy. Back here in the bottom of the sixth inning in a 3-3 ball game, Kimball's gonna remain on the mound for the Commodores. He's throwing the ball pretty well for them today as now Dano, Dan DeGroslier stands in. DeGroslier, sorry. I'm getting it slowly but surely, folks. It's only been three years, I should know it by now. Go watch the first one low for a ball. Oh, that was a strike, folks. It was a good pitch. I thought Dom called it a ball first. I didn't hear him say anything. Kimball kicks and fires. Outside for a ball, one and one. Now to Dano. Oof. Big cut at the curveball there by Kimball. Kimball now comes set. He's gonna wind and fire. And Dano watches that one for ball two and two. Kimball winds and fires. And Dano does a good job to foul that one off. Good job to get a piece of that one there and protect. Kimball now, he comes set. He's gonna wind and fire. And Dano hits one hard to third base. Third baseman makes nice play though. Now Owen, the Scorcher Scorestad stands in for the Hazen Union Wildcats. Kimball now comes set. He's gonna wind and fire. Swing and a miss there by Scorstad. You see folks, that's one thing the Wildcats don't have is a single lefty in their lineup, either throwing or batting. And Scorstad smoked out to center field. Oh. The center fielder folks, it looked like he didn't have the best read on that one, but he caught it nonetheless. Scorestad, I think, wanted that one to hook just a little bit more right and find some gap, uh, find the gap out there. Now, little Brendan Moody stands in for the Wildcats, the second baseman. Kimball ones and fires, and Moody pops one up to right field. Second baseman and right fielder coming on, and the right fielder puts it away. So, folks, after six, it's a 3-3 ball game. We will be right back in the top of the seventh. Folks, back here at the Dan Hudson Baseball Diamond. Rooney going to remain on the mound here, trying to go the distance for the Wildcats today. Let's go, Puppy Loader! Standing in now is Nate Muzzy, the designated hitter. Go, Nate Earth! Up. Let's go. Oh, Ooh, just missed. Nice pitch out there on the outside corner by Rooney. A ball and no strikes now to Muzzy. 
Oh, Muzzy ropes on the left field. Dano, oh! Dano DeGroslier has just misplayed it out there in left field. Folks, unfortunately, that's gonna be an E7 out there in left field. Dan DeGroslier, he made a great read on that ball. I think it just moved a little bit on him. You know, with as windy as it is today, it can make the ball do a bunch of different things in the air, folks. So that was a tough play. That ball was hit hard. Now Parker Keyhart stands in for the Virginia's Commodores. Ball and no strikes to him now. Rooney is gonna kick and deliver. Ooh, man, that one looked good. Two balls and no strikes. Should be one and one, I think. But. Rooney wins and fires. Rooney's got to settle down here and try and throw a strike. <laughs> Folks, in a couple really close pitches called balls there for Rooney. Rooney with two walks today, uncharacteristic of him. We're gonna take a mound visit real quick. So, mound visit over. Rooney's gonna remain on the mound. Standing in is Xavier DeBlois. Rooney kicks and fires. In there for, I thought it was a strike. Folks, Rooney is getting Rooney is getting no help from the home plate umpire. Because Rooney had some awful close pitches that last at bat, folks. Oh my gosh, folks! I, folks, I don't know where Rooney's missing. I really don't. I hate to get on the umpires, folks, but Rooney's had that same pitch called a strike numerous times today. I don't know where he's missing. Little chopper. Rooney took a couple of quick looks around the diamond, but he'll take the sure out at first base. Probably smart there by Rooney. Just making sure he got at least one out there at first base. So we're one out now, runners at second and third. Rooney's got to settle in here and face Reese Paquette. Folks, in an unfortunate turn of events. So they're gonna say he's safe at first base. It was a close play. I mean, the Hazen Wildcats just got all tangled up there, folks, on the bunt. Davison charged it, and so did 
Rooney, and that left nobody at first base, so Moody had to get over there and cover. I think Rooney should have went home there with it, folks, personally. It would have been close, but. That's always tough to make a decision right there on a bunt, on a suicide squeeze, it's tough. Good pitch there by Rooney, and it's a strike. Rooney now, he's just got to relax and pitch. They'll get the out at first base, but another run's gonna come around and score. So just like that, your Wildcats are down five to three with some small ball. Look at that for Jens laying down some bunts, having their guys steal, and the Wildcats have had no answer for it. But they do get the out at first base there. That, you see folks, on a suicide squeeze, that's the type of bunt you want, rolling one right down the first baseline, because then they can't make a play at the plate. Tyler Kimball, the pitcher, stands in now. Folks, and things have gone from bad to worse here at the Dan Hudson Baseball Diamond. A lot of miscommunications here on defense. I don't think that one's Rooney's fault, folks. Rooney was looking to throw and Menard wasn't ready for it over there at third base. And Rooney had to go somewhere or it would have been a balk. And that shot down the first baseline. Folks, and that was a shot there by Kimball down the right field line for a base hit. So a runner at third with two gone. And standing in is Elijah Dupree. Folks, like I said, Elijah Dupree coming on now. You see Brendan Moody gonna come out and talk to Lyle Rooney for a second. As folks, things have came unglued here in the top of the seventh. I think that should have been a strike anyways, regardless of the check swing, but it wasn't. But a ball and no strikes. And a 7-3 lead now for the Virgins Commodores as things start to look more and more bleak for the Wildcats here. It's not impossible, folks, but it can happen. I've seen stranger things happen, but the bats would really, really need to get going from the get-go in the bottom half. Rooney has been shelled this inning, unfortunately. In there for a strike, nice pitch by Rooney. Ooh, nice pickoff move by Rooney. is not happy about that call over there at second base. He thought he got him on the pick and tag. I thought he got him, but as Lance Hall would say, folks, the umpire is standing right there. Folks, I am surprised that Spencer Howard hasn't came out here and you know maybe tried to talk to talk to Rooney, maybe try and pull him, who knows. Rooney folks showing some signs of fatigue. 
Looks a little tired out there. Because Montgomery's gonna talk to him. Scribner gets ready to stand in. now to Scribner on the first pitch. <laughs> and Tyler Rivard with a nice catch down there at second base, but the tag was not close. A ball and a strike now to Scribner. Scribner fouls one off his foot there. Scribner, you're gonna feel that one tomorrow, folks. That one always hurt, let me tell you. Scribner's good. He's gonna stay in. Montgomery tried to block that one, but he couldn't. Folks, I think if, uh, as much as I hate to say it, if a uh, runner gets on here, this might be Rooney's last hitter. <laughs> Folks, it hasn't been all, you know, baseball is a team sport, so you know. 2-2 two -two count to Scribner. Baker cuts it off. Going now to Moody. Moody's gonna hit Rivard. As folks, now it is a nine to three lead for the Virgins Commodores. Howard, Howard making his way out to the mound. Folks, this could be all for Rooney. And folks, an uncharacteristic game for Lyle today, at least here in the seventh inning. Things kinda came unglued for him and he got a little bit shelled. So Rooney's gonna go to shortstop, Revard's gonna head to the mound. <laughs> Folks, Rooney struck out 10 today, he pitched a beauty. Although a couple, a couple fielding mistakes in the outfield, or er, on the outfield, a couple fielding mistakes in the field there kinda really put things to bed here, although they did hit the ball pretty well for Jens. So now, again, the mound visit continues as Spencer Howard came out, and Rooney's gonna go to short, and Revard on the bump. You know, folks, like I said, anything's possible, but if the Wildcats end up facing a five-run deficit in the bottom half, that is not gonna be an easy task to come back from. It is doable, folks. 
Because as, as people say, how can you not be romantic about baseball? It's hard. Muzzy stands in now for the Commodores. Rivard winds and fires. Swing and a miss. Good cut there by Muzzy. Nice pitch by Rivard. Swing and a miss. Back to back strikes there. Nice pitches by Rivard. Low for a ball. Nice stop there by Montgomery behind the plate. Oh, for a ball two and two now. Revard looking to set him down. So on a wicked strike, folks. So we'll see what happens, folks. Your Wildcats face a five-run deficit headed to the bottom of the seventh with the game on the line, their season on the line. Six-run deficit, folks, with their season on the line. So we'll see what happens. So folks, here we are back, bottom of the seventh, a 9-3 lead for the Commodores. The Wildcats got their work cut out for them, but the crowd's starting to get going here, and no better guy to lead it off than Jaden Baker. And Baker puts one in play, shortstop. Baker digging down the first baseline, and he's gonna start it off with a hit. Folks, if they're gonna rally back into this one, that's how it's gotta start, with a hit. And lots of them. Kimball now on the mound. He'll kick and fire. High for a ball. Again, it doesn't necessarily need to be hits, just base runners. Wildcats just need base runners. Oh, for a ball. Whew. And Baker barely gets back in there at first base. Folks, and that's another thing you've seen that's uncharacteristic for the Wildcats today. A couple uh, miscues running. You know, they, they ran themselves into some outs today as well. Kimball kicks and fires. Rivard watches that one for a ball, 3-0. Folks, if I was Jaden Baker, I would not be taking my chances over there at first base. With this catcher's arm, I would not be taking any chances. Hold it back, Revert will draw the walk. Kimball, I think his day might be done for the Virgins Commodores, and yes it is. Back here, folks, after the pitching change, Peyton Paquette on the mound now for the Commodores. Montgomery up to bat now. That is James Montgomery. Oh, and that one will hit him. Oof. Folks, that is not a nice place to get hit right there in the bottom of the back. That one hurts, folks. Ouch. Well, Montgomery will feel that one in the morning, I can tell you that, folks. That one might bruise pretty good. Rooney stands in now. Well, Cat wins and fires. That's low for a ball. High for a ball. Foul ball there by Rooney, two and one the count. From Paquette. And Rooney 
Jimmy, he'll foul that one off too. Two and two the count now. And a ball, three and two. You're seeing Rooney telling Baker there to hold up at third base. He's like, do not go, Jaden, do not go. As the count runs full, so Rooney's got to protect here anything close. And Rooney does just that and protects. And Rooney to second base. So they'll get the one out at second base, but Rooney will drive in a run. It's 9-4 now. As Andrew Menard stands in with runners on the corners, and one down. I think that is about the last place Rooney wanted to put that ball. But again, the Wildcats just need base runners. Doesn't matter how you get on. Oh, that one hit him in the helmet. So, bases are drunk with Wildcats now. I, Lance Hall would be mad at me if I didn't say it. Now Jacob Davison stands in. Big at bat here, folks, with the bases juice down by five. Hi for a ball, good eye there by Davison, folks. This place is getting loud. And that's how the season is going to end for the Wildcats, folks. A 9-4 win. And the Wildcats are absolutely stunned here at home. Folks, they were the odds-on favorite coming into Division Three this year with Peoples moving up to D2. And folks, unfortunately, that's how the cookie crumbles sometimes and records do not matter in the playoffs. I'm going to give our sponsors one more read, folks. Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsc.org. Jumpstart your future, folks. Thank you for joining us all season long. We will see you in the fall with soccer. Thank you.